conversation kind of threw you off a bit, and you're probably not in the best mood to. So, which situation are we talking about? Which situation are we talking about? Um, well, I mean, the, the guy that I met, you, you were talking to for a minute, and he, you know. Pretty much, I was dating this guy for about a month and a half. I met him on a dating app. We decided we were just going to really try to see what's up with each other, get to know each other, date, to possibly move into something greater. And in the process of dating him, you know, I go to dinner with him for what I know was going to be the final time. You know, I pay for dinner and everything. We're having a conversation. And he tells me, you know, I want to talk to you outside after we get through. He tells me this at the beginning of the date. And I'm just like, why can't you tell me now? Okay. I didn't really think anything about it. I just thought he might have thought people were around us and he didn't want them to hear our conversation. So I, I paid it. And you now I got the check and everything. We went downstairs. I'm sitting outside of the sushi restaurant and I'm holding my doggy bag and his doggy bag too. And he proceeds to tell me, he said, well, you know, Mike, um, I just don't see it between you and I romantically. Like I, I don't see it for us. So pretty much I handed him his doggy bag. He walked the fuck off, caught a lift somewhere else and went home. So fast forward like 24 hours later, I'm telling Brandon about the situation. I'm kind of and Brandon proceeds to tell me, he says, well, I want to let you know. He said, um, he reached out to me on a dating app. And it just went for not. Like, who waits till you pay for a dinner and then after the fact they tell you, oh, you know, by the way, Mike, I really don't see anything romantic between us. Two of them, he hits Brandon up saying, what's up? Brandon's like, hey. And he proceeds to tell Brandon that, you know, um, I thought, it, I thought it was really cool when I met you and you got a really nice personality and stuff. And I was wondering when you get back in town if we can get up and smoke. It didn't work out between me and Mike, but you know, hopefully you and I can be friends. I was fucking devastated. It's like the universe is kind of fucking slapping me in the face showing me like, well, this is what you're never gonna get. This is what you're never gonna have. Devastated. Pretty much, of course, Brandon, being a good friend, responded back to him, he said, uh, I've never seen Mikey move with you the way he move with any guy the way he has with you. He and I have very strict rules about how we deal with potentials and exes and crisscrossing. So I wish you the best. And that was it. He didn't contact him anymore. But you know, him telling me, um, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I was hurt. I was fucked up. And even now it still haunts me. And it's not so much because it was Brandon that you picked to go after but more so because yet again it was somebody not that wasn't me and as always thank you for your outpour of love and support you're watching webcast